An Introduction to Mendelian Genetics Now before we start, let's review the idea that human cells contain 46 chromosomes, which contain the DNA that makes each cell unique. And 23 of these chromosomes were inherited from a person's father, and 23 were inherited from the mother. So we can say that each person is made up of a combination of genetic code from both of their parents. Now sometimes we like to say that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, instead of saying that we have 46 total, because that way we remind ourselves that for each chromosome we have a maternal and paternal copy. Now the first thing I want to introduce is the term allele. Now if we have a chromosome here, then an allele is one small section on that chromosome that codes for a specific gene that makes you, you. Now since humans have at least two copies of each chromosome, we can say that humans usually have at least two alleles for every specific gene, one allele from their mother and one from their father. So let's look at an example and we'll start by talking about blood type. Now I'm sure that you've heard that blood types are usually named with letters like A, B, and O, but what does that actually mean? Well there's a specific allele that codes for blood type. And let's say that we have this guy here, and his alleles both code for blood type A, and I'll use the letter A for that. And let's say we have this girl here who has one allele coding for A, and another allele coding for blood type O. Now for the guy, if he has both alleles coding for blood type A, then it's pretty clear that when we check his actual blood type, it will be A. But for the girl, we're not so sure, since she has one of each. So now I'm going to introduce a couple new terms to you, and the first is that since the guy has two alleles that code for the same thing, both code for blood type A, then we say that this guy is homozygous, and homo means the two alleles are the same, homo the same, and zygous refers to the mixture of DNA that he got from his parents. So someone who is homozygous got the same allele from both parents. Now in the case of the girl, is she going to have blood type A or blood type O? Well, it turns out that she's going to have blood type A, and that's because the A allele is the dominant allele, while the O allele is the recessive allele. When an allele is dominant, that means that if someone has two different alleles, it'll be the dominant one that wins. So in this case, since A is dominant over O, which is recessive, A will win, and she'll have blood type A. Now since this girl has two different alleles, we call her heterozygous, since hetero means different and zygous refers to the same thing, the mixture of DNA that she got from her parents. Now I want to introduce two more terms. We can describe a person's genes in two different ways. We can look at the person's individual alleles, and we call this the genotype. So for this guy, his genotype is AA, referring to his two alleles, which both code for blood type A. But we can also look at a person's physical traits, which we call the phenotype. So for this guy and girl, the phenotype would be blood type A. So you can see that genotype and phenotype are different, but it is possible for two different genotypes to make the same phenotype, since some alleles are dominant over others. Now let's talk about gene inheritance for a bit. So let's say that our guy and girl from before have offspring together. We can use something called a Punnett square to determine what different genotypes their kids could have. Now each of the parent's two alleles are on separate chromosomes, so each parent will contribute one of their two alleles to the child, and the Punnett square allows you to determine all possible combinations. So if we take the father's alleles and line them up vertically, and then take the mother's alleles and line them up horizontally, we can fill in the chart to find the possible genotypes for our offspring. In this case, two of our boxes will have the AA in them, and two will have AO in them. So that means that half of the children will have the genotype AA, and half of the children will have genotype AO. But since both of these genotypes code for the same phenotype, all of the children will have the blood type A phenotype. Now let's see what happens if we change our father's genotype to match our mother's genotype. Now only one quarter of the children will have the AA genotype. Half will have the AO genotype, since the order of the two alleles doesn't matter, OA and AO are the same, and one quarter will have the OO genotype. So this means that 75% of the children will have blood type A in their phenotype, since AA and AO make blood type A, but 25% of the children will have the blood type O phenotype, since OO makes blood type O. So what did we learn? Well first we learned what an allele is, and the difference between homozygous and heterozygous, as well as the difference between dominant and recessive traits, in relation to alleles. 
Second, we learned about the difference between genotype and phenotype, and how the genotype refers to a person's DNA, while a phenotype refers to the physical traits that the DNA codes for. And finally, we learned about how we can use a Punnett square to determine how different alleles will be inherited from two parents.